I'm Tamara Siegler. I'm the ch chair of the Institute of Mathematics at the Hebrew University. Um, I'm honored to be here with uh, Professor Hillel Thurstenberg, a recent laureate of the Apple Prize, which is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize in Mathematics. The Einstein Institute is blessed with a, a extraordinary researchers and is recognized as one of the strongest math institutes in the world. And I thought maybe we would start at the beginning, maybe I'll ask you when you first started uh, becoming interested in mathematics. And I owe my mathematical career to my sister who was three years older than I was. And so when she was, when we were learning addition in school, she would taught me multiplication. And when we were learning multiplication, she taught me algebra. So I was always ahead of my class, and when you're ahead of your class, you're, you get interested in the subject, or you feel good about it, you feel comfortable with it, and uh, you have challenges. So you have to pr prove theorems, solve problems, and uh, there's room for, your, for originality. You can do things your way, and, and so I enjoyed that, and I saw that I was enjoying it. And I also like to say it was, it's a good exercise to fail in something in mathematics. You realize that you don't always succeed, and you don't have to succeed all the time. If, if it was if it's, you succeed all the time, that means it's too easy and uh, not, <laughs> worth the, not worth the effort. And, uh, to, and the, my high school was a yeshiva high school okay. in which people are preparing <clears throat> for the rabbinate. I actually would have become a rabbi, except that at the end of my of the college years, they, the, um, there was a decision in, at the yeshiva university that somebody who wanted to become a rabbi had to, could only study things related to, uh, to the rabbinate. I had to make a decision, either Princeton or, well, either some graduate school in mathematics or, uh, or the rabbinate, and uh, I chose, uh, chose yeah. right. Oh, lucky for us. Yeah. And, so, um, any regrets <coughs> or did, well, about the path not chosen? Not at all. <laughs> in 1965, you were married with two children and decided right, to come right. to and, Israel, uh, make Aliyah. And I had no plans originally to come to Israel. In fact, I was not a Zionist. And I was actually in a, in a group, youth organization that opposed, that was anti-Zionist, you might say, oh. uh, Agudat Israel. After I met my wife, um, and she had spent a year, a very successful year here in Israel after high school in a program, and uh, she, really, she really wanted very much to come back to, to live in Israel. And so when I proposed to her, she made it pretty clear that it was okay, but we have to come to Israel. So maybe can you say something? Do you remember, you, or can some things about the, your first years here? On my way to Israel, we, we stopped off in France. In Paris, I met uh, Izzy Katznelson, oh. and I remember one of the things Izzy told me uh, was that uh, he encouraged me to come to Israel, but he said, "But you have to be very, you have to be willing to be forgiving." when you come to Israel. And so the first thing I noticed when spending my first year that I didn't find anything I had to be forgiving about. <laughs> At any rate, just the, the friendliness of people here. And, and then there were the students, and the students were clearly better than the, that is the undergraduates, I should say, were clearly better than the undergraduates I had known in, in, in the United States. Good students that you can talk to, that you can lecture to, is, that's a very important thing for for even for a research mathematician. And that's one of the things about the department. I mean, that I, even the, under, the good undergraduate students are, are um, raise the level and raise the level of the, of the teaching. So, so a couple of years after you came, Benji Weiss also came. And, yeah, right. And right. Uh, together yeah. with Easy, you initiated the, what we now call the Jerusalem School of <laughs> Dynamics. I think it what makes Jerusalem the best place to study <laughs> dynamics. And can you say some, tell me something about this year and how it influenced your math mathematics? It was an excellent opportunity to devote oneself to, to research. Anything we wanted to know, there was somebody there who could, who could answer. I personally really love the Einstein Institute, but do you, so do you think, I, what do you think makes it special? Well, altogether that the department has been successful is uh, partly because of an insistence on excellence both on part of students and a part of uh, uh, faculty. You know, the way I view it is that the founding fathers to which I put you in um, were all, you know, there were great mathematicians here that were all um, working in very, uh, 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 yeah, there's no good English word. There's no word, good really. English <laughs> word or uh, uh, very good atmosphere, very good working atmosphere. Oh, yes. I see that as sort of the, 
negative of the negative. What, what happens in many departments and people uh, is that there's criticism, oh, what you're doing is not interesting, it's not important, that's, that's absent here, we don't have that. On the, the, uh, and there's the warmth, uh, the uh, mutual respect, and uh, which, uh, um, which makes it pleasant to work, and that certainly helps. So what would you, what would you advise, like a beginning mathematician? Well, there's, there's good advice which works for many things is, do what you want to do. Now, just follow the things that, that, that attract you. And uh, the trouble with mathematics problems is that if, they're, if it's easy, then it's not worth pursuing. And, uh, and if it's hard, you're, you're gambling. You're gambling, you're going to be spending time on uh, something which will, won't lead anywhere. Unless you make an effort to be, like, to be different from other people, you're going to be like everybody else. <laughs> That's a lesson <laughs> That's for life, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see about for the future of the Einstein Institute? Your vision for the future, or you know what you wish for for the fu for us for mm -hmm. the future? And oh, I hope uh, I hope to have con continued success and uh, get <laughs> good people to come to visit, and uh, that's a good prescription for for further success, especially especially getting visitors of all kinds to come and. Uh, and uh, building up that way, building up more more fields that are uh, in, in, within the department. Well, we, we say from Kimitzion Te Tse Tova that uh, that learning comes out of Tzion, that comes out of Zion, and the fact that mathematics is coming out of Zion is is, is a nice thing. Mm -hmm.